Ooh, Judy Dench being basically a UK school version of Mrs. Umbridge. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Notes of a Scandal. As I mentioned way back in March, I'm going to be reviewing movies that are through the years of films that I remember the DVD cases for when I would go to the video store, but I never got a chance to see. This one being Notes of a Scandal. I remember this poster vividly. I now know all the acclaim it got. The film follows Judy Dench's character, who is this bitter old crone of a school teacher who basically is the gossip about everyone and has her own little journals, her own basically black book about her other people while being completely oblivious to her own failings, her own mistreatments and her own evils. In comes Kate Blanchett, this new teacher who is seemingly a little bit clumsy but has passion for it and a friendship bonds between the two even though there are devious intentions to it. In the end, Judy is able to find some pretty hot dirt about Kane Blanchett's character, and it leads to these incredibly high-tensioned interactions and relationships, and it's kind of prevalent to certain things that are happening in the schooling system now, and it's just a pretty hot topic to talk about. I liked how this movie was willing to go to places that you know, I would have thought that maybe would have been a little bit more subtle on, particularly what's happening with Kate Blanchett's character and a young student at the school. But I really just liked how vile Judy Dench was. And I laughed a few times. My impression of Judy Dench has always been M from Goldeneye. That's the first time I ever saw her, and that's how I've always viewed her. So to see her in this role, one, she could have done a good umbrage, just saying. But the lady who did do Umbridge, fantastic job. Not going to take away any of the hard work and fantastic evil performance she did. But Judy's just so conniving. It's like if my grandmother was this evil, vile lady. <laughs> just the obliviousness she has to her own errors, her own evils, is so compelling to watch, especially as the events of the film cascade and the chips fall and the scandals break, it gets to a really uncomfortable level. But I also like how certain things aren't holding back, like Bill Nighy's character, who is Kate Planchett's husband in the movie, that is also another topic that is talked about. I love at one point he just fucking hates Judy Dench, like, oh, what is this bitch doing here? So just to see Davy Jones just being like, oh, how's this fucking bitch? If there is one complaint I have, it's how it ends. Yes, I get that the idea is that sh sometimes things do not go the way they should, especially in these situations. And you also feel this kind of mm, hole of, do you think what happened was good? Do you believe the outcome was good? Do you believe that anyone who got what they deserve? And you don't. And it ends with this little hint of people have not learned their lessons. And I like the idea of it. I just don't like how it comes to be. That's the only thing I have with this movie. Otherwise, I think it's actually a pretty solid film. The performances are pretty good by everyone. Kate Blanchett does a fantastic performance. Judy Dench does a fantastic performance. There are some side characters that are a tad bit like, eh, but I really liked how it hit home. Like a lot of this was a relatable sort of subject, even if very uncomfortable. And I think that it did its job, and I understand why this movie got the acclaim it did, but I also understand why it's not talked about really anymore. Anyways, in the end, I am going to give Notes of a Scandal a 5 out of 7. Very good performances by the main ladies in this film. Completely understandable as to why they got nominated, and it's just unfortunate because Judy did not stand a chance against Helen Mirren for The Queen, and Kate Blanchett understandably lost out to Jennifer Hudson for Dream Girls. But otherwise, those are my thoughts about this movie. Very interested to see what you guys have to say. Please let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this movie? Do you guys remember it? And I asked this question all the way back then, but I'm curious to see what you guys have to say now. What are some movies that you remember the poster or the case from the video store vividly, but you never actually went and saw, or you took years to finally see them? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Otherwise, guys, that's all for me. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.